Hey, hey, crafty peeps. What's shaking? How's everybody's Monday? I hope everybody did all right. I know Mondays aren't usually the best, but it's a new beginning to a new new week, right? All right. As promised, I wanted to do a comparison with some of these paints. As you can see, they are not exactly the same color. I wanted to compare these Jane Davenport. They're supposed to be matte acrylics. I mean, they look matte in the tubes, but I don't know. So I just wanted to kind of give it a, a, a look, look, see, and thought you guys might want to see too. So I have these by Dina Wakely. These are the heavy body acrylic and I have magenta and turquoise, which seem to be close. I have some dilutions paint in bubblegum pink. And what's this one called? Vibrant turquoise. Again, not the same, but close, right? I have some distress paints here in picked raspberry and crackled pistachio. The picked raspberry looks much similar than the cracked pistachio, but we get the gist of it. Again, raspberry looks spot on by Adirondack, and that's Ranger. This one's Clover, not quite the same, but close, it's as close as I had. <laughs> and then I had some Liquitex Heavy Body Acrylic that I wanted to try. This is medium magenta and light blue permanent. I don't know. Again, definitely not the same, but close. And I got these cute little ones in a package just like this with other paints in different colors to try it out. And that was from Michael's. Still going. It's okay, baby. Goodbye. Sorry, that was my daughter. <laughs> that was lighting. <laughs> so, um, I, you know, these are what I had, and I thought they were similar, and I thought we'd give them a go. And if you want to check it out, let's check it out. If you don't, you know, see you later. <laughs> so we're gonna start with the Jane, because of course I'm the most excited about this one. So let's test this one out. Ooh, you can see right away it's nice and creamy look at that oh yeah it's lovely look at the thick so I would definitely say this is heavier than thinner don't worry I'm not wasting any of this loveliness Go to the next one, the blue one. As you can see, I popped the lid here. I, there was a little foil safety, uh, oh, it's a little much, a little foil safety to keep it nice and moist till you're ready to use it. You can make textures, do all kinds of things, thin it out, whatever you like. And then we'll go over to Dina. I, I have to admit, I do like the cap on these. It makes it nice and convenient. Don't lose track of it. Now, if you notice, this looks a little bit thicker. Just a bit thicker here. But to be honest, I've had it longer too. That might make a difference. But definitely you can make the marks in it. Get nice and big. <laughs> All right, turquoise. It looks like I put a little bit more on with the 
Jane's, but these are both very good weight paints. I don't know if that matters to you, but you can leave textures in them if you want to. This one's look a little heavier, but again, I think, I think I put more on there. But I know I'll show you. <laughs> That's beautiful. <gasps> uh. Let's try that one again. No, this one might be thicker. But what I'm most curious to see is if it dries matte. What about you guys? All right. Then we'll go to our dilutions, which we know is going to be thinner, right? Because that's just what she, she made them for. She designed them to be thinner paints so that they would dry faster when you were doing your um, art journals. I have to admit, I'm not very good at art journals. I would much rather make books or, I don't know. Scrapbook. Not that great at making cards, if I'm honest. I always feel like they're not quite finished. But you can just see that. Look at that. It just moves around in there. Much more liquidy. In fact, um, usually I use um, Tim Holtz paint daub. Um, they're not really called paint daubers. One of these, but they're round. And I use this with the sponge tip. The sponge applicator. These things right here. And that's usually what I use for those dilutions. I found that to be the, the easiest way to apply them rather than paint uh, paint brushes or this palette knife. But I mean, that worked pretty good, but you can see it's thicker than it would be with a sponge. So it will dry not quite as fast as she wants it to. Moving on to Distress. The Raspberry. And I mean, these are made to be thin enough to go through sponges, so. Little dry bits there. I think I've had these since he first came out with them. <laughs> you should probably use them, huh? <laughs> A bit more, maybe. All right, and his are made, these are like chalk paints, right? The distress paints. So I really wanted to get these on here because these are supposed to be matte. Here we have the cracked pistachio. And you can just see how thin that is right there. But still a very beautiful color. I feel like every paint has its purpose, right? There's a reason for them all. <laughs> does, <laughs> does that make me silly? Are you all laughing at me? You are, aren't you? I told you, paper, paints, I'm addicted. And then we have the Ranger Adirondack. And I actually got these from Tuesday morning, a bunch of these when they were, I think they were 99 cents. Again, thin enough to go through a sponge here. I'm about to do them backwards here. So you can make that really thin. Or you can layer it. And raspberry. Raspberry. 
you guys are probably wondering what I'm doing over here. Or some of you actually probably know. I'm over here making a mess in my... Just cleaning it off. Having fun. Even when I'm cleaning. Alright, and we're almost down to the nitty gritty here. This is the raspberry and the ranger. See how thin you can get these. And you can just tell this is just much thicker. These will you'll see brush strokes in these top two. And some people like that and some people don't. Which are you? Do you like brush strokes or no brush strokes? Please leave leave a comment below and let me know which one do you prefer? Do you want to see the strokes or no? All right, I'm starting to lose my light here. It's a race against the time. This is the Liquitex Heavy Body. Look at that. Oh, it's like butter. Very comparable to the Dina um, Weekly. Look at that. This one you would see the brush strokes in. You could probably even make peaks in it without the um, without the gesso, um, not gesso, the medium, the gel medium. Cannot talk. All right. And some people might be wondering why I decided to use the spatula here instead of a brush and it's just simply because it's easier to clean off each time and I don't have to mess all these brushes up and clean them actually is probably the key here <laughs> okay and here is the um, blue here and of course this color is the most off but So we're going to start at the top here. This is James, Dina, Dilusions, which is still, still very wet because it's layered up quite a bit. Right here is the Tim Holtz, Ranger, and then the Liquitex, which is by far the pretty heaviest, I think. All right, so you saw how they went on. I actually want to look at James one more time and do just what I did with the other two to kind of see how she... Okay, so you can see right there, it's not definitely not as heavy bodied as the other ones. So if that's something you like, she looks like a very good in-between, which I personally think is perfect. I mean, look at that. That's very good, but just not as thick to where, you know, you can probably blend it out better so you don't see all the strokes. So here, let me put this somewhere and then I'll show you the dry version I already have. I have been having loads of fun playing with all of these lovely goodies. I have to admit. So here we go, right here. I have already dried these. So that's Jane's at the top and Dina's. Now can you see the difference between the two? Can you see, and I know they are different colors, but to me this is a more matte version. Not, let's see if I can get more light in here. Without putting it actually in the can you see that? How is that? I mean, I can still see that Dina's is, is, is a bit matte, but I do think that Jane's is a bit more matter. Now you can see the dilutions there is still trying to dry. What do you guys think? Do you think it's a bit matter or do you think it's the same? Oh, and here's the Liquitex right here. Dried. 
they're all lovely, lovely paints, and they all have their purpose, I believe. The other thing is, is this is the Tim Holtz, but it's not, not quite dry. But this is based on being a chalk paint, which is, which is matte, you know, by nature. We'll give it a few more minutes while I want to show you a couple more things, and then we will see if it dries a bit more. Because, of course, my heat tool is not working. So I did play with a couple of these. Okay, I did some water coloring on some of the black and white. So there's some water coloring. This was the Prima pen, not Prima, Prisma color pencils. And honestly, that was not my favorite. And then I did some alcohol markers. So I definitely enjoyed the alcohol markers and the watercolors. And this was with her Petite palette. And oh my goodness, that bad boy is strong, very vibrant, very beautiful. I was just in love with first little swipes. I'm telling you, they were so cute. So um, again, you could just take, you know, colors. You could even take like these paints right here and just daub. You don't even have to color them in. You know, you could just, or just watercolor the whole thing. Have loads of fun. The other thing I wanted to show you was this, with the big white one. So I haven't found a way to, like I said, it's got the second layer on these white ones to protect the adhesive when you're coloring it. Every time I do it, it, <laughs> It rips a little bit, so I feel like I'm wasting just just a little bit. So if you guys know of any ways to not do that, please feel free to leave that in the comments below. Because I would love, I you know, it's like the stream paper. I feel like I just waste that amount every time. Um, not this part though, because of course I'll use it. So let's grab something out. Have any of you looked at the website, the Jane website? Even her um, her YouTube account, she's been posting videos left and right. Has anybody been watching them? Which one is your favorite? Hmm? Anybody? Let's go with this stamp. Anybody? Nobody? Anybody got a comment? using my misty so much I think I've put them all away hmm. well you know what since I can't find it I'm just gonna use the back of this even though it's not quite horrible it will work I double did it there a little bit and then you got something to put into your own your own washi tape into your own journal you could use the little eyes and the lips and all the little ones on this smaller size you could just watercolor this and make some like her beautiful ones but they're your own I just love it it's so exciting I don't know I know some of you are just as excited I've seen it on your videos all right, so let's take a final look. What are your what are your opinions? Do you think it's more matte or am I just seeing that? And you can definitely, these two I did with a brush. 
I started out with a brush and then I decided I didn't want to clean them all. And then here it is a bit more. But I, you know, I think it's just as matte as a chalk paint. If I'm honest, I think Dina's is pretty matte as well. And these, you can definitely tell. Right here, they have a shine to them. These Liquitex acrylics. So, let me know your thoughts below. You know I'm interested to hear what you guys are thinking as well. All right? I hope you guys are having fun doing whatever you enjoy to do in your leisurely time. All right? See you later. Bye.